Don't let anybody hear it. But God is saying, do what? Open it. For every man that opens up his sin, he receives what? Pardon. If we confess our sins, right? He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from how many things? All unrighteousness. Don't, don't die in that shame. Bring it out. Praise the Lord. Things that if anybody, there are some things that you do, that when you are doing it, as you are going, you are looking back, you are looking here, you are looking here, so that nobody will see you. Eh, is that not so? Eh, please answer me now. Eh? But I, you, know, you know, I keep wondering. While you are going to do something, you are looking like this. You are looking like this. But I don't see them looking like this. Eh? Why are they not looking like this? It's not foolishness. Because see, there is an eye that is looking from where? From that one. And nothing can cover you. You can't hide under that one. So, when you are looking like this, and looking like this, and you didn't see anybody, what do I advise you to do, please? You also look like this. When you are sure that nobody is looking from up there, then you can just go and go and do your sin. But as I'm looking like this, I know that you will know that somebody is doing what? Is looking from up. Even if nobody is there, or nobody is there, there is somebody where, please? Somebody is up there. And this other one, even if he sees you, what can he do? Eh? You want to go to your, 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 your... You are married. You are married. And you want to go and visit your girlfriend. And you are looking like this. Looking like this. Abby? Eh? Now let me ask you. If I want to go and check my girlfriend. And this brother saw me on the road. And he said, Sir, where are you going? And I said, actually, I have a girlfriend. I want to go and see her. What are you going to do me? Nothing. Even if you say, I will tell her, I say, go and tell her. Huh? Both she, both him and my wife, what can they do? Nothing. If they talk too much, tomorrow I bring her to my parlor and sit down there and say, this is the woman. Do your worst. Let us see. What are they going to do? Nothing. I wonder why you are afraid of somebody who can do nothing. And you are not afraid of him that can do all things. Is that, is, that, is that wisdom? Is that wisdom? That's the reason why. Tonight, I want to call you, especially, that the glory of God is gone out of your life and you know it. You are going to church, oh, but you know that you are just going. Hey, am I telling lies? Eh? If they say, look, look at our number here now. If uh, the leaders of this meeting say, we will cancel tomorrow's uh, uh, meeting from tomorrow morning. When you come, you say today, no preaching. You, you, follow like this. Anybody you meet, tell you that Jesus is the Lord. You and you, go like this. You, you, go like this. And we shall divide these people two by two to go everywhere. Do you know that some people will get lost on the way? Eh? Do, do, why? Why? Because as they are going and they are preaching, those that know them, they say, eh? <laughs> One day shall not finish. This are the preach too. <laughs> and then, because you know yourself, you will just say, mm, you will dodge, you will go away. The reason why you are here now is because all those that know you very well, they are not around. Eh? Is that not so? We are going to pray. We want to say something. That is, God has paid everything. But the devil has deceived us. And we are hiding inside our shame. Tonight, if we are going to say, Lord, I will hide no more. I am coming. Since, you, since the thing is by, because you have died and you have died, I am coming. Everything that holds me back, I am going to dra drag it. I will bring it to you. Today is the day that every chain 
over my life will be caught. Every, every deception that has kept me under, I want to kill it because this, this body must manifest the life of Jesus. This body that you see standing here now, there is no other option. It has to manifest Jesus. I hear me. But you see, if it was a cassava stick that you put inside, what would you germinate? A cassava, isn't it? Will you want to go and harvest potato by planting cassava? If you plant cassava stick, what will manifest? It's cassava. If you put potato, what will manifest? So you see, you cannot manifest Christ if, it, if his seed is not planted inside. There is no way about it. And tonight, two things want to happen. For the old to go away so that the new seed that brings the glory of God shall come. I call you to pray this evening. Where do you want to stand? Close your eyes and let's pray. Where do you stand? Is there anybody among us who is saying, Lord, everything that has held me down, that has covered this, this life, to make it not to manifest, today, today I expose that thing. Is there anybody here who is saying, God, plant your seed in my life. Is there anybody who is coming to Jesus tonight? Take the, take the old away. Plant in me the new seed. Let me see your hand. If what you are desiring is for this new seed, that don't leave this place with the things that you came covered. Don't leave this place without God having mercy on your life. Don't leave this place with any guilt of sin in your heart. If you are looking for that transplant, for God to remove the old life and to plant the new one, please, can I, I see you stand. We must need to pray. Your standing, first of all, is an indication to the devil that you have exposed him I no longer come with you. Where are they? Thank you, my brother. Where are they? Thank you, sister. The world that look at me, I will follow you no more. Look at me, I will go with you no more. All the things that are in my life that belong to darkness, tonight I deny all of them that Jesus might become my redeemer. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Don't go home with your own. Is there any more? We want to pray. We want to talk to the Lord. Manifesting the life of Jesus is not a joke. It's not a dream. It's by a constant decision. All those that are standing, please, can you come to the, can you come to the altar? Come to God. We need to talk to God together. C come. 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 Whatever you are, come. Whatever it is that you have remembered, come. That the body of Jesus as is physically hung on the tree and died. That is the reconciliation that God brought to us. Why will you cheat yourself and go as if the devil created you? Why will you continue to allow the devil to rule over your life as if he has any authority in your life. Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. He paid it all. He paid it all. There is nothing that is left that Jesus didn't pay. The devil, where he kept us, he wants to destroy us. But Jesus has brought redemption. He has reconciled you now, by his physical body, through death on the cross, Jesus, the Redeemer. Jesus, the Redeemer. Jesus, the Redeemer. Jesus.
Jesus, the Redeemer. Jesus is passing this way. This way. Today. Jesus is passing this way. He is passing this way today. Please, can you talk to God? Whatever that has kept you uh, from manifesting the glory of God, that which God has freely given, that becomes our identity here on earth, the devil cannot cover it up. Just talk to God that I have come. Do with me what you promise that you will do by Jesus Christ. Save my life. Put me among your people. Today, I desert the camp of the enemy. Can you talk to the Lord? Can you speak to him sincerely from your heart? Confess all your sins to him. And Jesus abundantly